I'm going to give you a few seconds to try to identify this marine creature. In case you didn't get it, there it is, a seahorse. I managed to find this one during a shallow water lagoon dive in Mozambique. As a matter of fact, over here you can usually encounter more than just one specimen at a time. If you can spot them, that is. The bottom of the lagoon is covered with seagrass beds, among which seahorses found a perfect habitat to thrive. Most of the time you will find seahorses hidden motionless among the grass, with only their gills breathing and chameleon-like independent movement of eyes that is visible. They wrap tails around nearby blades of grass in order to get a firm hold even during the strong flow of tides that happen many times a day in a lagoon. Sitting motionless not only makes them invisible to predators, but also is a hunting strategy of their own. Using a long snout with a great speed, they can vacuum tiny unsuspecting crustaceans that have wandered around in its vicinity. Clumsy as they look, seahorses can also swim using a small dorsal fin. Often when I'm filming them, they become aware their cover has been blown and swim away to find a new place to set up a trap. Within the same area, there is a big chance to find another member of the same animal family as seahorses the pipefish. If you take a closer look, even though long-nosed pipefish have a different, elongated body, their heads and snouts are basically the same as a seahorse. Long-nosed pipefish have long, rigid bodies, and again, they use a tiny dorsal fin to move around. It does look rather bizarre and uncommon. Here I have spotted two of them clearly in a hunting mode. What is quite interesting is the fact that they are working together, forming a team of hunters, possibly to cover more ground without missing anything. On a nearby coral reef lives yet another seahorse-like creature. This time it's a free-swimming animal that resembles a piece of seaweed. Ghost pipefish, just like seahorses and long-nosed pipefish, uses camouflage for its protection and hunting. Unlike them though, it often finds a part of a reef that moves, in order to use as a background to blend in. In most cases they are rather hard to film, they are constantly changing their position, swimming away and back, and getting out of focus. Some of them do stay in place and perfectly mimic nearby seaweed or certain species of coral, like longwood corals. Again, when checking its snout, you realize they are very similar to seahorses. And just like them, they hunt for tiny crustaceans living on the bottom of the reef. Probably the most striking member of the family is an ornate ghost pipefish, sometimes called a harlequin ghost pipefish. While what you can see here is quite remarkable and is rather easy to spot, you have to remember that I'm using artificial lighting to expose this beautiful red and yellow color on the animal's skin. In reality, especially red is the first color that disappears from the visible spectrum of light the deeper you go. So ornate ghost pipefish, rather than on color, rely on unusual pattern on their skin which, with no artificial lights, make them very hard to find as they blend in perfectly. They have a mating season, during which they bond in pairs and stay together until the young ones hatch. 
this particular pair appeared on the reef out of nowhere and stayed in the very same spot for about three weeks. They were hovering around a feather star attached to the end of a blackwood coral the whole time, allowing a multitude of recreational divers to come and have a close look at this very rare animal. After this long viewing spectacle that gave so many of us a smile, they simply disappeared never to be found again.